my dad had these pictures in the house where he'd done like some bodybuilding when he was in college. He was just shredded at a very young age. I decided I want to look like that. He had kind of told me that if I work out and I get stronger, then I'll be better. So basically, I was just dying to, to start lifting weights. I'm holding my breath. It's just a very emotional feeling for me. When you're lifting four and 500 pounds over your head, there is a lot of risk. You get to that age where your dad turns into your friend. And I think that's what I was getting to when I lost him. He had something so magical. His rate of force production, the bar propulsion that he could generate was just different. And anybody that saw him move at the time, you could just feel like this, this ball of just raw energy. I didn't pull any punches. I said, look, I think you could be the one. I think you could be the guy that redefines the sport in this country. You're that guy. He knows what kind of man he has become. He knows what he's supposed to accomplish. He's ready. The only person that can stop him right now is him. Twelve more weightlifters have tested positive for banned substances. <laughs> the team athletes tested positive for doping from the Beijing Games. <laughs> For years, we've seen guys like West that just really haven't even had a fighting chance. For us to be in a position to bring a clean athlete from the United States and be in a position to win a medal, he could be one of the saviors of the sport itself. West Kids, he has all the packets of the lifters who wants to be a champion. And he's working hard to prove that. This is not technical, this is mental. I feel like we've done everything we need to do to create a performance that's required. It's your own passion and your own drive that kind of keeps you in it, not so much fame and glory. I want to be somebody that people can be proud of. The lightest American athlete to ever even attempt this. I get chills thinking about being able to like bring home my medal.